hi everyone welcome back to my channel in the last video we saw like how can we close the informational alerts using the automation rule without a playbook but today we are going to see like how can we close the informational alerts with a playbook open your sentinel workspace and reach out to the automation you are you just need to click on create playbook with incident trigger choose the subscription and resource group and give some name to the playbook i'm giving closing information alerts using playbook just click on next um you just need to click on repeat and create and create playbook So it has created the logic gap and here in, if you see like in the logic gap designer section um, there is already one connector which has been deployed by the automation so if you see here we can find the details like when a response to a microsoft incident is triggered so this will trigger by the automation rule so usually like um, once we have configured the automation so whenever the incident got created this playbook will be run automatically so it will fetch the incident data but uh, we actually need to update the incident means like we need to close it so just click on this plus icon click on add an action here and let's type sentinel click on see more you will find update incident just click on it and if you see here incident arm id so basically this is the unique id which will be assigned to um, each incident so here it will be dynamic because in the first one it will automatically fetch the incident data so here just click on this uh, symbol and here if you type incident Um, here if you search for the anyway, click on more incident ARM ID this is the one which you need to choose just click on it so here the task will be should I send a owner and uh, you have to give the email ID to which it should send the um, ticket to so I'm just giving the my sentinel admin account email id so that it will automatically assign that um, ticket to that particular account let me give that one okay and here i am just want to set the status as closed and classification reason as undetermined and reason next is closing by playbook so once everything is done you just need to click on save here um yeah you can see like it was saved now just go to microsoft sentinel automation here we need to create a new rule click on automation rule um informational alert closure playbook so when the incident is created if incident provide equals all analytical role name contains all and also we will it like CVRT equals informational then yeah so it will only say run this playbook for informational only and here in the action you can choose this run playbook and you can click on this closing information alert using playbook then you just need to click on apply so this rule is currently in enable state if you see and see like i already disabled this automation rule that we have created in the last video let's see uh, whether we are able to close the incident using the playbook or not i'm just creating an incident so testing automation rule 
my book and I'm just giving the CVRT as informational test as any and I'm just creating it just give it one minute to reflect here okay so the incident got created but as you can see like uh, it was not closed yet let's see like uh, whether our playbook has run successfully or not you just need to go to this playbook that we have created under here if you click on this run history it will give us the details like uh, whether status has failed or success if you click on this you can see like we are getting a status as forbidden let's check like um, Here, if you see like the client with the object ID does not have authorization to perform this read and yeah it doesn't have read read and write access on that particular internal workspace so what exactly you need to do is like if you come down here in the identity you can see like this is the managed identity which has been created for this logic app just copy this and go to the resource group where your sentinel works has been deployed so when it comes to here access control iam here actually we need to assign a role to that particular manager entity of the logic app so actually i already created a custom role logic app role if you see here these are the permissions okay these two are the permissions which are needed for that particular logic app to successfully close the um, informational alert uh, in order to create a custom role you just need to click on with your admin account you just need to click on add and add this custom role and uh, add the permissions which I have provided so for like uh, create a custom role just use the name description in the permission just um, click on add permissions and give the permissions here I'm just adding the role assignment since I have already created it so yeah logic app role Mm -hmm. you can see like you just need to click on this manager identity click on select members all system is in manager identity and you can get this playbook click on select click on review plus assign okay now as you can see like we have assigned the role now let's try to create a one more incident testing automation role playbook with access and i'm just giving the status as information see where it has information just give it a minute let's see like whether our playbook is running successfully or not okay so the incident got created so you can see like it has closed successfully closing by the playbook and it was assigned to the sentinel admin so this is how we can use the playbook to close the incidents as well that's all for today thanks for watching